guess what we're doing? Well, Mo's cutting up an onion right now. But we are making a soup called tomato artichoke soup. Have you ever had it? I have not. It okay. sounds really good. Do you like tomatoes? Yes, I do. Do you like, like artichokes? I do. Yes. Okay. So when I worked at a hospital here in um, close to our house, um, there was a coffee shop called Rembrandt's that had the most delicious tomato artichoke soup. Well, the coffee shop was owned by one of our physicians that worked in the hospital. I am so crooked, baby. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I begged him for the recipe. I didn't it was, it. Oh. I think it was his mother's recipe okay. or something. He was um, Italian. And anyway, I never got the recipe. But one day I was looking online and I found this recipe for tomato artichoke soup. And whoever posted that recipe, and I'm sorry, I don't know who posted it. I would give him definitely props, but for her, um, it said, taste exactly like Rembrandt's. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, print <laughs> that recipe. So, so that's what we're gonna make tonight, right? That is what we're making. Now, let me tell you, this is not a diet soup. This is a soup that will make you fat. So, <laughs> you don't, a little or only you you sit you once in a while. You don't want to eat this. I know, we are. So, we're on t-shirt night. But we um, we don't want you to eat this often because, <laughs> you know, we're, we're concerned about your health. So, but once in a while is okay. But it's so good, y'all. It's so good. I used to go down from my office. Hit, the coffee shop was right below my office. And I would go down there and I would get... They would have like a, a bowl or a cup. And sometimes I would get the bowl, but it was really rich. So, you know, I tried not to. Would you turn off that? Oh, this way. Mm -hmm. So, um, but I would eat the whole thing. It was so good. But anyway, we're gonna show y'all how to make this tomato artichoke soup. So if you like tomatoes and you like artichoke, you are gonna love this soup. Now you start out by making a roux, and Debbie knows all about making roux. I didn't even know what a roux was. <laughs> I thought it was a kangaroo. <laughs> but anyway, but Debbie's gonna make that for us. Now y'all, there's two sticks of butter melted in this skillet over here. And she's gonna show you what we're gonna do with that. It's not a diet. It's not a diet soup, y'all. Yeah. So we, the recipe calls for two sticks of butter, but we're gonna take a lot of that butter with the flour when we add it. But we're gonna yeah. now put in an onion, okay. a chopped up onion. Yeah, and this is just like a medium size onion. And I don't remember what, what else goes in. Okay, okay, so get that going. All right, so you're gonna saute your onion and your seasoning. So okay. you want me to call them out yes. to you? Yes. Okay, so we have got in our oven. I think there's a tablespoon of basil. That's the only one I can remember right now. I'm yes. Gonna, I've got the tablespoon of basil. All right. One tablespoon basil. We want three-fourths teaspoon of oregano. So we use that half and then the fourth, I think. I couldn't find the three-fourths teaspoon. Okay, get that. All right. So Stir you're that gonna in. saute those onions with those spices. Okay. And then when that the onions are tender, you're going to add your flour slowly and cook it into okay. a roux. And that's our roux. So, so we'll, that will be our this roux. This will take a few minutes. So while this is going, Mo I'm is gonna, gonna do, do the part. soup part. So we, we split this recipe up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I have got, now it calls for four tomatoes peeled and pureed. So, we didn't have any time for that. So we've used just regular whole stewed tomatoes and I've cut them up and I used all of them in this can, y'all. So this size pan, what is this? Yeah, 28 ounce or something yeah, like that? Yeah, 28 ounce, yeah, you're gonna show right. So that's a large can of stewed tomatoes and I had cut those up. So I went ahead and put those in my um, stock pot. Right. So to that, I'm going to add a whole can of artichoke hearts. And y'all, I was so excited. I found some that are already chopped. So I don't have to chop them. I hate chopping artichokes. So, and they're chopped good, y'all. They are really chopped. When they say chopped, they meant it. They meant chopped. That's right. 
And I love hard artichokes. Oh, I like to put them in salads. Oh, I love them. All right, so I'm gonna stir that up together. Now to that, I'm gonna add our milks. So when I say milks, I mean two cups of whole milk. And you can use half a uh, two percent or whatever. Oh, that whole two cups in there. So are y'all starting to see how rich this is gonna be with the butter and the whole milk? And now one cup of chicken stock, Deb. Are you weird? Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. And y'all, this will keep in your refrigerator really good and you can take it for lunch. Now you don't want to eat a whole lot of it because with all this richness, you could actually make yourself sick. I have done it. I'm talking <laughs> from experience. I know what I'm talking about. Okay, uh, one cup of heavy cream. There we go. Again, not on your Weight Watchers plan. But not okay. on your keto diet. It's okay for once in a while. Once in a while. And you don't want to eat this whole pot by yourself either. You want to share it. You want to share it. Yes. All right. I think that's everything. We need, here. We need our salt and salt pepper, pepper again, over here in the room. Salt and pepper oh, in, the room. Yeah, okay. in the room. So, and this is to taste. It doesn't tell us how much, so we're just assuming it's to taste. Now, it called for white pepper. I don't have any white pepper. I'm sure it's because it's going to be a white soup. And mm -hmm. Maybe you wouldn't maybe stir a white soup. soup. Maybe. You yeah, might maybe. not see the pepper, but I'm just going to use white pepper. It's I don't even have any white pepper. Okay, so I am stirring. I'm heating mine over medium heat. I say that, but I don't really think I have my. Oh. Would you put that on this, medium? This yeah. one? Uh huh. You can turn it back on. There we go. About a five. Okay, so I'm just, <laughs> just cooking it without the heat. I'm uh, pretending like I'm cooking it. I'm really not cooking it. It was falling down on my dough. It's got the prettiest pink color, y'all, those tomatoes mixed with all that meal, and so it's turned to pink. So when we add the flour to this roux, and we're going to cook it uh, for probably, I don't know what the recipe says, a couple of minutes, and then when you put this into the soup that Mo's just mixed up, it's going to make it a little thicker and richer. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's what a roux does. If you're making a gravy, you make your roux, and mm -hmm. then add your milk, and makes it thicker, because the flour is what's going to thicken it all up. Right. We're excited. I'm excited. Yeah, I've never I'm had happy. this. I've never even heard. So, do they, you think they still have the soup? Oh, yes. So, so, they don't have the coffee shop in the hospital anymore, but they have the Rembrandt's downtown Chattanooga, forever in Chattanooga, Tennessee. There is a wonderful, wonderful um, coffee shop, coffee house, really, um, called Rembrandt's. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful place to go. They have wonderful breads and pastries <coughs> and all of those things. And they have tomato artichoke soup. Is that one of the chocolates? That's the chocolatier. There's they a have, place called well, Chocolatier, they right? They do make chocolates they do. Okay, over there, too. Okay. But, um, yeah, Rembrandt's has chocolate. So okay. But, um, you know, it's not the hot chocolate. Okay, okay. No, it's, it's chocolate a different place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But they also have a, a cafe called the Back Inn. Back Inn Cafe. Is that theirs? Okay. Mm -hmm. All that at the bluff. Oh, the whole thing is. The, the area is called the visit. Bluff View. And so there's an art museum there. And lots of sculptures. There's a sculpture garden. It's just a beautiful sure. place. Yeah. 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 And he has a restaurant there called Tony's. I've been to Tony's. Lots yes. of Tony's. Lots of good Italian food. So, anyway, if I, if this tastes like he is, I'm going to call him up. <laughs> He's retired now, but I'm going to call him up and say, I okay, made a coffee cat recipe. <laughs> I'm just okay. going to say. I'm going to start adding you? some flour to okay. the butter mixture. Alright. Let me pack it in. Let me, let me, oh, I'm going to go a little slow with it. Just mix it in. So this is how you make the roux, y'all. And you notice Deb is using, she's um, inaugurating my brand new whisk that I ordered from her. Gravy whisk. After I saw her gravy <laughs> Easy for Gravy me to whisk. say. <laughs> Gravy whisk. I had to have one. So, yeah, that's, that's all part of the scheme, see. Deb <laughs> shows me all these products. I and know she knows, do this. She knows good and well I'm going to have to have. Okay, that uh, was a half of a cup of flour. Okay. 
And, and that's all-purpose flour. All-purpose flour. We're just going to... I don't think it would matter if you use self-rising or all-purpose so this time. It just says flour, doesn't it? Yep. It just says flour. So you're just going to cook this for a minute. And then when do we when do we merge the two? You don't want to when stop the mixture, this, When the roux is a golden brown. Okay. So you want it to be getting done. Want that so flour gonna, to be brown. Yes, the flour needs to brown. Without again. being burned like I did that last and time. And that's that why you don't rub yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> And I've turned the eye down so it won't cook too fast. Yeah, you don't you don't want to uh, scorch your roux. Scorched roux is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> so. so we're just gonna cook this for a minute, and then we'll add it, and then this whole soup has to cook for how long? Stirring. Okay, slowly add onion roux to artichoke mixture. Roux to artichoke mixture, yes. stirring constantly and cook until soup thickens. So I'm guess about 10 long. minutes, yeah. yeah. This so, is already thick right here, so yes. we can put that in there, it's really thick and thick. I think we can, um, let me, it's, it's not thick enough yet, is it? It's very close. Okay. Awesome. It's smelling really good. Can you turn onions. this one up to about six? Yep. Okay. Y'all, if y'all don't ever cook with friends, you should just try. If you just cook all by yourself all the time and you get really bored with it, and you're like, oh, I have to cook supper, call up a friend and say, hey, <laughs> come and cook with me. It's so much it's more so fun. Much fun. Yeah. <coughs> you might even want to start a cooking channel. There you go. Well, you never Speaking know. of cooking channels, did y'all know that we yeah. have a YouTube channel? That's fine. If you don't know, we do. We're trying to, my glasses are fogging up, y'all. We're building our YouTube uh, family, too. So, yes. if you like watching so, on YouTube, mm -hmm. go look for the same title, Cooking with Mo and Dad. Mm -hmm. Make yep. sure you share it, you subscribe to it, and you tell yes. people to go subscribe. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Yes. I think we might be ready for this. Okay. I can't wait. Yeah. I'm thinking, even it's not golden brown like it's okay. said, but I'll keep going a little bit. Pull it off from the. <coughs> let's see what happens. Oh, don't burn your little self, or my little self, <laughs> either of ourselves. I don't think it's thick not big enough. Uh -uh. Let's keep going. It fools you. It tricks you. It's kind of hard to tell. So we're going to be back in just a minute. We're going to let this thicken, and we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we think we've got our roux where it needs to be. It's brown, so we're gonna pour it into the soup mixture. Okay. So here we go. And remember, it's got those onions in it, it's got spices in it. All right. All right. Now let me get the camera and pull it over closer so you can see the soup. Yeah, we don't, we can't see it. There it is. It is definitely thickening down. See already? See yes. That? Perfect. Nice. That room did its do. <laughs> that room <laughs> did what it was supposed to do. <laughs> oh, so it just goodness, has to cook for just a few minutes mm. before it's finished. As soon as it thickens. And you can oh, it's a pretty color. It is so pretty. Look at that. And you know what I'm going to do, Dan? I'm going to add that? some more of this tomato juice. From what is thickening? In there, that was onion. <laughs> it's right. the, it is thicker. Right. It's really thick, uh, thickening up. That's just that's so yummy. What do y'all think? I love think it. it. Looks great. Yeah. Here. So artichoke. It's done. What was this? A Tomato thick. artichoke soup. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna try this. Well, you're about to try it here in a minute. We'll let it cool off a minute. Okay. We'll try. So we'll be back to. Taste Let test you know and what it tastes tell like. you how it's taste. We have our soup. We've got some this tomato and the choke soup. Mmm. Wow, it's so good. It's so good. I love it. I love the tomatoes. Now, I'm not gonna be able to call Doctor and brag on my soup because it still is not <laughs> quite as good, but it's delish. It is so good. And I'm proud because we made it and- I think it's, I think it's great. Mm -hmm. very good. Mm. You gotta try this. And you know what? It's great with homemade rolls. 
dip it in there. Can you imagine? Mm. So good job. So you gotta give it a try. Tomato artichoke soup. Y'all are gonna want to make this, I promise you. Yummy.